What is up guys and welcome back to another review video. Now today we're going to be reviewing this brand new add-on and it is called, well it's called the Gmod FNAF Bundle and it's uh, two packs. It's a ragdoll pack and a prop pack. Um, yeah that's a lot of props for me but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out whenever the time comes. I'll probably review some of them but uh, I'm not going to be able to review all of those. Because that's, that's over a thousand add-ons right there, and that one in the prop pack alone, that's over a thousand, and I don't know if I have uh, it in me to be able to review over a thousand uh, props, but uh, anyways, so yeah, so we're just gonna, first we're just gonna be reviewing the ragdoll pack, and if I, and if I want to, I will review some of the props, but we'll see what happens. Alright, anyways, so starting off, we have the the main FNAF 1 crew right here. So we got Mr. Freddy Fayesbayer, we got Bonnie, we got Chica, Foxy, Golden Freddy, and Endo 1. And obviously Golden Freddy has his Shadow Freddy skin. But um, yeah, so from what I'm noticing so far, the, they, I think what they are is basically, wait, like obviously I can tell I'm seeing a lot of similarities here. I'm. Yeah, yeah, they do look very familiar. Um, definitely not the UFMP, because UFMP looks different. But, um, oh, wait, I'm thinking of the Ultimate FNAF pack. Yeah, they look very similar to the pack, not gonna lie. That's, that's pretty interesting. Anyways, um, obviously they have ear physics. Uh, almost every ragdoll that's on the workshop now has ear physics. That's just become a new thing now. Um, where they actually have ear physics, so yeah. Um... Yeah, another thing I have noticed about these guys is that they are really short. Like, like here, hang on. Alright, so here's my Foxy. This is like my Foxy character person. Or the UFMP Foxy, whatever. And here's Freddy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm noticing quite a bit of a height difference here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is uh, the current dupe of Foxy. But uh, anyways, so, um... Yeah, this is interesting. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why these guys are so short. But all right. I mean, yeah, some. Ra I mean, all ragdolls aren't the same height. I just found it kind of funny. Anyways, uh, yes, yeah, so we got Freddy, we got Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Gone Freddy, Ender One. I already said that. Frick. Anyways, let's not try to repeat myself. Yeah, let's try not to do that. Um, all right, uh, you, Mister. I'm just gonna. There we go. Alright, so, yeah, I'm not gonna say much about the actual, like, design of the ragdoll, because it is literally the FNAF 1 crew. Like, usually whenever you review ragdolls, like, relating to, like, FNAF 1 crew or stuff, there's not much you could really say, considering everybody knows what they look like. It's, it's not really much else to say about them. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so they are pretty cool. Uh, I'm assuming they have body groups. Okay, so you can change his glows. Take away his mic, no mic privileges. You can change his jaw, which is weird. Oh, oh, it has like the darkening in the inside of the jaw. That looks so weird on Freddy. I'm sorry, I can't look at that normally. I only, every time I look at Freddy, I, I don't, I can't, I can't imagine this. No, that, why, that makes him look so weird to me. Oh, okay. And then, uh, you can move the, is, did that remove the endo hands? Oh no, that added them. Okay. And I'll take away the rings. All right. So for Bonnie, all right, it, okay, it's the same thing here, except you can also give him the guitar, and oh, the OG guitar. I'm curious, this guitar right here, like, what was the actual like? Did someone actually, did, like Scott or somebody, get sued for using this guitar for Bonnie or something? Or am I? Or is there something else I'm missing here? Like, why did they change the guitar? I, I actually don't know. I'm not that caught up with events in FNAF. Obviously, that happened, like, I think a few years ago. I don't know, man. But, did, like, someone get... I, I'm pretty sure someone got sued. I don't remember. But, like, why did they change this guitar? I honestly forgot. It's been a while. Um, I probably knew at the time, but I don't remember. Uh, skin. Okay, so you can kill him. Uh, Freddy doesn't have any skins. Uh, Chica, do you have skins? Uh... Sorry, so you can kill Chica, and you can also give her those eyes, which look kind of unsettling on her. Uh, you can give her jump scare teeth, which I never understood. Does she actually have that in her jump scare in FNAF 1? I, I don't know. Huh. 
Alright, you can take away her rings. Uh, take away her beak. Uh, you can give her a cupcake. Oh, wait, wait, hey, frick. No. no. You can, you you lost your beak privileges. Anyway, so we got Mr. Cupcake. And then, also add the eye gloves. Alright, uh. Alright, so we got uh, the skins for Foxy. Uh, Golden Freddy obviously has his Shadow Freddy skin. And body groups, alright, same thing with Freddy. And Endo doesn't have any body groups or skins. Okay, so that's all I really can say about the FNAF 1 crew because I can't I can't find anything else to really talk about them. Like, like even if I did actually sit through this and talk about them a lot more, I would have nothing because I actually can't find anything to talk about them. Because we know what the FNAF 1 crew look like. Even if, like, models are changed and materials are different, eh, there's no, nothing you can say about them because they are usually just just the FNAF 1 crew. Like, you know. Anyways, alright, so over here we got the stands for them from, like, you know, FNAF 3, obviously. So we got the Freddy stand. So I find it interesting that his jaws has separate physics from his mask. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so we got the Freddy stand and we got the Bonnie stand. Which also has separate uh, jaw physics with its head. Or I, I think I'm saying that wrong, but it's whatever. All right. Oh, pff, oh, you could completely remove them, I guess. All right. Also, I just realized Freddy's stand is taller than Bonnie's. Wait, 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 guys, wait. Freddy's stand is actually taller than Bonnie's. Dang. I just now noticed that. Wait, is that actually how it is in the game? FNAF 3. That'd be that. That would be hilarious. Freddy taller than Bonnie confirmed. Is Freddy taller than Bonnie? I'm pretty sure they're the same height. Why am I talking about how tall they are now? Alright, anyways. Um, so yeah, those are the stands right there. Uh, not, you know, nothing else I can really say about them, but they do look pretty cool. You know, I got some, uh, I'm, I'm assuming those are wires. Wires sticking out of them and stuff. Uh, alright, so moving on from that, we're gonna move on. Alright, we're gonna ignore that for a minute, because we are going... In here, I could have just went in the other way, but I do not care. Anyways, ah. Alright, so we got the Glamrocks in here. So, there's not much else I, again, just like for the FNAF 1 crew, there's not much I can actually say about the Glamrocks. Not much. I mean, here's one thing I can say. Um, I don't know if Moon from the Ultimate FNAF packs like this, but his hat has physics. That's just pretty cool. I don't know. I, I don't really use the other Skid Reach characters from the pack, so I don't remember if his hat had physics or not, but that's pretty cool. And also got Sun, which, oh, oh, wait, this is interesting. Wait, hold up, hold up. Do that again, Mr. Sun. I swear to God. Uh, oh, 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 oh. The Sun Rays can move, which I don't think I can even move them physically. Yeah, so the Sun Rays are able to move. That's interesting. Huh. I don't know. I don't think Ultimate FNAF Pack Moon was like that, was he? I mean, son. Ah, English. Um, I don't know. Guys, let me know. D did his hat have ear? F I mean, oh my god. Ah, did his hat have physics? And did the sun rays have physics on him before? I don't re recall that. But then again, I rarely use them. Also, I'm also noticing one thing. They do not have post fingers, which I'm not saying is a problem. I'm saying that's just interesting to point out. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so weird seeing the Glamrocks that pose fingers because like I've been used to them with pose fingers for so long. <laughs> Holy frit. That's kind of strange to see. Alright, anyways, um, so yeah, there's not much I can say about Freddy or Chica or Endo. Like, I don't have much to say about them or anything or, you know, Shattered Monty or uh, Shattered Roxanne, you know. But, um,. There's one thing I will point out about Monty, though. I noticed this when I was spawning them in. He has physics on his glasses, so if I tip him upside down, there we go. His glasses flip up, which is kind of interesting, but also strange. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But, it does, I mean, like, it's really cool detail. I still don't know how I feel about it. Anyways, um, I don't know if that makes it more realistic or less realistic whenever you're moving them around because do you really see people's uh, um glasses bouncing around like that or, or i mean i mean then again i don't really see many people with glasses like do this so i don't i, I, I can't really be one to talk i don't know <laughs> but i'm just asking anyways uh obviously he's got his little tail but anyways yeah that's all i really can extra stuff i can add on for monty uh 
Uh, we'll get to Glamrock Bonnie in a second. We'll save him for a minute. Uh, okay, obviously we gotta talk about Roxanne. I don't care. We're talking about her. Anyways, alright, so... I'm assuming there's skin- Yeah, okay, so obviously there's the more, uh, filthy skins. Um, alright. And, yep, she got her tail. Hair, nice. Alright, yeah, yes, I- I review- I actually- I actually took time to talk about Roxanne and not, like, any of the other Glamrocks besides Monty. Yes, alright, yeah, I did that. You got a problem with that? Anyways, okay, um, enough- alright, enough talking to, uh, the Void. Alright, so, obviously we got Shadow Roxanne, but, you know, nothing really different about them. Yeah, alright, but Roxanne's Roxanne, so obviously I gotta at least say something about her, because it's Roxanne, come on. Anyways, um, alright, Glamrock Bonnie, come here. Okay, so, Glamrock Bonnie is also obviously very different. This is a completely different model of Glamrock Bonnie. I don't think I've ever seen a model of him like this. Yeah, because the model I'm used to is the one from the Ruin pack, but this is interesting. Alright, but anyway, okay, so he doesn't have any body groups or skins, but this is interesting. So, okay, I don't know why, but I thought that was a coin slot. I was like, why? Why is that there? <laughs> but no, it's it's a it's a little hinge. I swear to God, if I, I swear to God, if th that's not called a hinge, and I'm thinking of something else, I'm gonna, because with my luck, I always say something, I say like, oh, that's that, and then I'm wrong. I don't know why, but I'm telling you right now, that has to be a hinge. I swear to god, if the name for it is not Hinge, I'm gonna cry. Cause I- it always happens to me. I always think- I always think something's named sp one way and then- nope, it's actually a different name. Okay, enough rambling on. Alright, uh, so obviously he has ear physics. Alright, I'll- I- I- I prefer, personally prefer this type of design for Glamour Bonnie with the tuft of hair in the center of his head. Like, like, right between his ears. I just prefer that on a Glimmer Pony model. It just makes it look much better. Not sure how I feel about the headband. Not sure. But, uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, he's got a little whiskers. His eyes are red. Wait, where are they? Were his eyes always red? I can't remember. But, um, it's interesting. Okay. And, uh, yeah, he's very shiny. It's one thing. Shiny. Alright, anyways. Um, he's got a little tail. Interesting. And yeah, I'm not sure what else I can really say because I can't remember what now I can't even remember what the original Glimmer Bonnie looked like for materials. Like I can't remember if this was the color of his uh, uh, clothing or not. But yeah, so he's got a lot of red on his clothing. He's got some pink on there too, or purple or no, that that that's purple. That's purple or pink. Wait, uh, uh purple pink. Alright, anyways, uh, we got a giant bright star. God dang it, stay still. Alright, so we got a giant bright star. It's interesting. And we got, honestly, I forgot what this is called. It, uh, there has to be a specific name for this thing. What What is this thing that's like around his neck? What actually are these supposed to be called? They have to have a certain name. Because I definitely, if, because I know they do. I mean, I actually don't know because I don't even know. It, even if. If it does have a certain name, I don't know what it is. Anyways, if that wasn't already obvious. Alright. Yeah, I do like- This- This is a very interesting, uh, type of model for them at Bonnie. Uh, it's different, that's for sure. Not sure how, how I feel about it. I do prefer- Like, personally, I do prefer the one from Rune, but this is a really good model for him. Yeah, like, compared to the bunch of other ones I've seen- this one, okay, this one right here, I'll say, is the second best Glimmer Bonnie ragdoll we've ever gotten. Because we've gotten quite a few. But uh, yeah, this is the second best Glimmer Bonnie ragdoll we've ever gotten. So yeah, it's pretty dang cool. Anyways, not much else I can say about the Glamrock, so uh, we're gonna just scooch on along. It's, son, get the frick out of my way. Anyways. Okay, uh, oh wait, I forgot about these people in here. Alright, so real quick before we get on to the chaos over there. We are going to talk about uh, the uh, these characters. So we got three FNAF AR people. We got Freddy, Bonnie, and Endo. Now, obviously, we've seen the FNAF AR ragdolls before, but the one th difference I can point out is that they have ear physics, which is very, very snazzy. So yeah. Also, their hands are actually 
a pose, which I'm pretty sure for SNF1 ragdolls, this is like the normal posing they have for hands, so I wouldn't say it's actually posed. But I don't know, may maybe that's just how I feel about Endo's hands, because... Wait, were his hands always posed? I can't remember. I know the FNAF 1 animatronics had their hands like this all the time, but like, I don't know about Endo. Anyway, so yeah, not much else I can say about them though, because you know, it's the FNAF AR ragdolls, like I can't say anything about the materials, so... Yeah, that's all I can really add on for them, uh, but they do look pretty snazzy. Uh, we got this thing, which I honestly forgot the name of, hold up. This is Collision Bear. I have no idea who this guy is or what he's from. Also, do any of you have skins? Oh, wait, yes, you do. Okay, I will check that out real quick. Okay, so his eyes light up. Eyes light up and eyes light up. Okay. Anyways, Collision Bear. I don't know what the frick this thing is. I don't recall ever seeing this in the FNAF franchise before, but uh, he looks like just a clay mold of Freddy. That's very interesting. Um... Yeah, right. obviously he has ear physics. His limbs aren't aren't connected to each other, which is interesting. It reminds me of Oblivion, his because his limbs aren't actually connected to each other. Anyways, and he has no toes. His toes are just yeah, because he's like clay mold. So that's very interesting. This guy's interesting. I like this guy. All right. Anyways, um, moving on. Let's go to this chaos. Okay, so... This is all the FNAF World enemies, I believe. Or at least this is just all things from FNAF World. Or not everything from FNAF World, if that was the case, oh god. But, um, it is just a, a bunch of the enemies from it. Anyway, so, what are these things called again? Ra- oh, oh, they have specific names. Okay, so... Let's see here. Okay, let's look at these little guys first. Okay, so... Alright. Alright, all of you, come here. Okay, so we'll talk about you in a second. So anyway, so who is this? Which one is this guy? This is Seaweed. Alright, so this is Seaweed. He, um... He's a little, uh... He's a little, uh... A blob person. I don't know exactly what they are. I'm... I, I don't... Remind me of Jello. I'm gonna say they're Jello creatures. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so yeah, so he's got yellow eyes, he's got a little, uh, teeth, you know. Uh, he's, looks like he's missing quite a few. Uh, buddy, yeah, uh, you might want to brush your teeth. Yeah, uh, you're starting to lose a lot of them. Or maybe you're just getting into old age, I don't know, buddy. Alright, anyways, uh, so, yeah, I mean, obviously he's light green, but, um, yeah, again. Like, also, I won, I don't have much I can actually say, besides, like, materials and little, uh, details. But, uh, also, because, uh, those, considering how many things there are, probably is a good idea. I don't spend too long reviewing one specific one. Um, obviously, I don't think I said this at the beginning of the video, if you want this, uh, pack, or just the packs, I guess, um, <laughs> you, uh, you can get them in the link in the description. Probably links, I don't know, I'm pretty sure, no wait, because I'm pretty sure that it's all in one bundle, so I can just link that bundle. Anyways, um, so then we got, which one is this called? Rot. Alright, so we got Rot, so obviously they're purple instead. And they got white eyes, and, alright, uh, so no differences with the teeth for them. But yeah, there's Rot, and then who's this? We got Flan? Was that what that says? Flan, okay, so Flan. They have yellow eyes, just like seaweed. And they look like they are... Oh, crap. What type of green is this? This is definitely a type of green, but I don't know what type. Uh, they're... Y'all could probably let me know in the comments. But they are a different type of green. I don't know what type. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, alright. It's interesting. So, who's this? So, we got... Fizz... Fizz Flan? What? Huh? Sorry, what? I... Alright. <laughs> But, um, so they are blue, or dark blue, or this is more like, I don't know if this is dark blue or more of like in the middle of dark blue, dark blue and light blue, I don't know. But uh, it's blue, and he's got white eyes, and uh, yeah. Alright, anyways, back to the, so we're gonna go to this one now. So, uh, this is a multi-color one, so they just change colors all the time. But, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully none of you are, um going to be uh, triggered by this like uh, you know uh, I'm gonna hope uh, 
yep, uh, if it's hurting your eyes, look away. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's very interesting. Okay. It's kind of trippy if, uh, if you, uh, like, really look at it for salt a little bit. It really becomes trippy, but, uh, alright, so that's very interesting. So, hang on, what are you called specifically? Splinkle. Hmm, interesting. Let me hope I read that right. Okay, because I was making sure it wasn't saying sprinkle. I'm just being stupid. Alright, anyways. Alright, so there's those creatures. So, moving on. Alright, so here, how about we get you guys down? Let, let, let's talk about you guys real quick. So, these are the prototypes. So, we got... And not, no, not from Puppy Playtime. I, have, I still need to play Chapter 3, man. Okay, uh, where are you in this? Okay, prototype and prototype trailer i don't know what that means i'm well i mean i'm assuming what it means to set there from the trailer of fnaf world i'm assuming so i yeah i don't know i i don't i, I i'm not even getting a teeny bit of uh familiar 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 i can't even say it right I'm, I'm not familiar with this guy at all so eh, all right but anyways prototype i've definitely seen him before i know i have but uh, anyway, so, wait, did I check for body groups or skins? Let me just double check. Okay. Uh, do you have any body groups or skins? No. Okay, so anyways, so he's, he's got like a silver, you know, metallic look. Right? That's the right word? I don't know, man. <laughs> he's got a tap hot, but... Uh, excuse me, what? I was about to say tap hot. Or... What the frick? Ah. Okay. As you can see, my brain is slowly dying. Top hats. He's got little green eyes, you know. He's got uh, a jaw which uh, sharp little points uh, representing teeth. And we got a little bow tie. And uh, yeah, he's also got a little claw hands. And uh, yeah. Oh, for all right. Uh, that's, that's interesting. Okay, so then we got um, the trailer dude. So he has red eyes, piercing red eyes. And then it's got a pink and or pink hat and bow tie. And then he's got claws as well, but instead of like this weird faded purple looking color, he has red for it. And instead of this being also some sort of faded purple, it is I don't even know what color this is supposed to be, to be honest. Uh it's I I'm not even gonna try to guess, I don't I don't know. Um Alright, so yeah, there's there's the prototypes. They are very interesting. Oh, what the heck? Oh, wait. Oh, they make that sound. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, I'm assuming you guys make that sound. Interesting. Alright, here. Let's move on to the gear rats. At least, I'm I'm hoping I'm right on that name. Yeah, gear rat, and then gear rat with the parachute. I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen gear rats with a parachute from FNAF World, but alright. Um, like, dude, can you look at me? Also, I noticed this while I was spawning them in. How come you can pick up them by the ears, but you can't by their actual head? Why is that? I don't know, that's just kind of weird to me. You can even pick them up by the tail, but not their head. Everything but their head, which is kind of weird. Anyway, so yeah, we got the gear rat. Obviously, it's just a brown gear with a little rat-looking head on top. We obviously have... Oh, look. If we play FNAF World, we've seen all these people before. Or at least most of them. Oh, he's got a little tail. And, uh, yeah. And also, the same guy, but with a parachute. So, yeah, these guys are pretty cool. You got blue eyes. All right. All right, here. What, what if I just, uh... Whoosh! Oh, oh, I was gonna try to get him to roll. Come on. Roll! Uh oh He didn't roll rip all right um all right here let's let's go, go to these people real quick so we so these uh the uh the ball spawned in with uh, this guy but anyway so we got a uh, brow boy uh small and big version so we got a little version which is smaller than regular balloon boy yeah because i'm pretty sure these are about the size of like a fnaf world balloon boy ragdoll and then we got Gigantic Brow Boy, which I'm assuming this is actually supposed to represent his real height compared to us in the game. But uh, yeah, I mean, regardless, I mean, he's not even, he's not that much taller than my player model, so, you know. But he sure does look angry. 
<laughs> He's angry about something. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that's basically Brow Boy. I mean, they got the purple and black stripe pattern. Got a giant unibrow. And we got some we got lovely, I'm assuming, pink eyes. I, I don't know. I look like the same type of... Uh, uh, same color of eyes as Bonnie. Why can I never English? English is just so freaking hard, man. What? Why is English so hard to pronounce? Oh my god. Like seriously, it should not be this hard. Anyways, um, yes. Yeah, also, I just realized your front teeth are really pretty far ahead of your uh, bottom teeth. That's interesting. Okay. Um. So yeah, there's a there's a brow boy. So we're gonna move you over there. So um, yeah. And then we got a ball boy. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure that's your name, right? Yeah, Ball Boy. So it's like a little weird version of Balloon Boy. And then you got a yellow ball, blue ball, and a red ball. So, uh, yeah. It's got um, two little buttons. Also, the, 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 the poses that they're supposed to make is just, just kind of funny to me. How he just like looks like that, you know? Anyways, so yeah, he's got uh, uh, brown hair. He's got a little top hat, which I'm assuming it has physics. Yep. And then, uh, yeah. Alright, he's got a little weird red nose. Alright. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna toss those over there. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, wait, where, wait, where did the, where did the yellow ball go? Oh, I was about to say, where'd it go? Alright, anyways, uh, moving on. What is this creature? Box bite. I... I feel like I've seen this guy before, but I can't remember. Anyways, uh, so, I don't, I, yeah, okay, I don't have much to say about him. Uh, real quick, I gotta make sure, okay, yup. Yeah, I don't think any of these things have, like, body groups or skins, but anyways, uh, so, alright, so he's like a little box guy, he's got little stubby legs, stubby arms, he's got gigantic teeth, he's got little rectangle eyes, um, yellow eyes, alright. And, uh, yeah, all I really can say about him. Because, I mean, it, it, like, it is so hard to find stuff to say about uh, ragdolls in review videos, I swear, man. Like, you, you really can't, like, say too much about them. You just, just show them and boom. That's that. It's just, I don't know. I'm trying to find things to say, but it's, you know, I've, I've seen all these things before from FNAF World, so it's not really much new I can say about them. Uh, anyway, so we got, what is your name, mister? Uh, bounce pot. All right, so we got bounce pot. We got little flies following them, which is kind of funny. All right, so we got the little pot that they sit in. We got the actual plant, and we got the ugly looking head. My God, bro, this guy's ugly. Right, I'm just, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, I'm sorry. Please, don't, please don't hurt me. Oh my God, that that face just looks like he wants to hurt me. Jeez. All right, anyways, uh, see, so yeah, he's got a little creepy smile. He got two buck teeth. And he's got uh, white eyes, uh, and uh, yeah, he's got a little uh, little uh, top uh, plant thingy on his head. I don't, I don't know, man. But anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah. So there's a uh, bounce spot. Uh, and who is this? Who, who the frickety frackety is this? Golden bounce spot. Okay. So same thing, except gold. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Bro, this guy just reminds me of Pea Shooter. Now I'm thinking about it. No, no, like, not like the, the, the only, like, I'm talking about the color scheme. Like, bro, that just reminds me of Pea Shooter, that color scheme. Or right, anyways, then we got, what the frick are you things, or what, what? Grave weed, okay. So it's basically a, a two of them, okay. So, all right, same thing, except they are, um, it's, Boy, all right, there we go. All right, same thing except they are purple. I'm assuming that's purple. I don't know. There's so many colors, man. I just say if it looks purple, I call it purple. I don't care. I don't care what type of purple. It's just purple. Get the frick back over there. Anyways, um, all right. So moving up, where where did the yellow ball go? Oh, it's all the way over here. Dang. Oh, well, they're traveling. Anyways, all right. So next up, we got the meringue. All right. So is that? Is there? Or is this orange slices all over the cake? What the heck? That is so weird. Anyway, so we, it, it's literally a giant three-layer cake. Am I the only one who's like never seen an actual cake like 
th like this before. Like, like, one with more than one layer. Like, it's always just like this, th the first layer, and it's just like a giant square cake. No, like, uh, this one's like, just whoosh, like, whoosh, I've never seen a cake like that before. Like, I, I'm pretty sure wedding cakes are like that, but uh, I don't, I, I can't remember the last time I've ever seen a wedding cake, so that's why I just assume I've never seen a cake like this. Anyways, uh, yeah, and it's just orange slices all over it, and it's got yellow frosting, I, I, I don't even want to know what flavor that frosting is. If it, if it ain't vanilla or chocolate, I don't care. Anyways. Uh, enough talking about frosting, uh, let's move on to- It'd be funny if I moved on to this guy and say like, let's move on to Frosty. <laughs> Frosty the snowman. Alright, anyways, um, so we got the endos right here. So we got, I believe this is Mad Endo, correct? Once I find him. Wait, hold up, because, yeah, there's also this person. And then, uh, you're the golden endo, I remember that. Uh, my god. Yeah, gold endo. Where's the other people? Who's this? Mad Endo. Okay, which one's Mad Endo? Okay, you're Mad Endo and you're Overclock. Got it. Yeah, because the other person's Overclock, correct? Yes. Okay. So we got Mad Endo, Overclock, and Gold Endo. So, no body groups or skins. So, yeah, not much I can actually say about them. I mean, they're basically just... FNAF world versions of the Nightmare Endos with different colored eyes. It's all you really can say. I mean, it's like pink eyes, yellow eyes, and then we got the gold version. Alright, alright, alright. So yeah, there's those three. They look pretty snazzy. Um, we got these three. Oh god. Okay, um. Oh boy. Alright, so what are these things? Um, quarry. Quarry? I... I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm assuming, I'm assuming quarry. So we got quarry. And then who is this guy? Gold mine. And then who's this? Dia mine? Alright. So um, I have never seen this guy before. Like, okay. These two look a little familiar. You, however, I don't. Are you even in the game? I don't think I've seen you before. Anyways, uh, so any body groups or skins that need to be mentioned? Probably not. Nope. Alright, so this guy's obviously, I'm pretty sure, he's supposed to be actual, like, stone. Okay, I don't know why you're called gold mine, though, because I don't think you're gold. You're more like bronze or something. Well, not actual bronze, but you're like mud. What the heck? <laughs> and then diamonds, I guess. Alright, anyways. So, yeah, so their design is very interesting. Okay, so... So these are your legs, so they sh so you should- so they should probably be like that. Oh god, what the heck? Why is your- Bro, why- <laughs> What-, what it- Alright. It's got, um, hands. So, uh, alright. Um, interesting. So, yeah, so there's these three, and not much I can say about them. It's like different colors and different colored eyes. But yeah, they, they look pretty cool. Alright. Um, then we got Eyesore. Which is one of the most commonly known bosses in FNAF World. Like, come on, we all know Eyesore. But, um, yeah, so he's got four legs. He's a giant eye with a bunch of brown around him. But, uh... Yeah, any body groups or skins? No. Sorry, so yeah, that's how much else I can say? It's a giant orange eye. So yeah, there's Eyesore. Then we got Bubba. I remember Bubba. Anyways, um... So, ooh, okay, there's... There's, uh, physics on the little wind-up, uh, thing on his back. Alright, nice. So, um, yes, yeah, so there's Bubba. Um, he's got little screws in his jaw. Alright. I'm assuming that's, like, to keep the jaw connected, I'm assuming? I, 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 don't, I don't entirely know. There's just screws in his feet, too, which is pretty strange, but alright. He's got two buttons. He's got a lot of stitching everywhere, which is interesting. And, uh, yeah, there's Bubba. So yeah, he's got yellow eyes, but yeah, there's Bubba. And then we got these two, so let's get you two out of the way. So here, all right, auto chipper, we're gonna move you back. All right, anyway, so we got these two. All right, hang on, all right, all, all of you. Get, get over there. What the heck? What, wait, it was you? Wait.
Why do you- Oh, you make that sound, but they don't. Interesting. I don't even think I've heard that noise coming from a ragdoll before. There's all the common noises you'll hear from ragdolls, but that one, I don't- That sounds new. Anyways, uh... Hold up. Okay, so we got Snow Cone and Bouncer. Alright. I swear to god, there was a- Wasn't there a boss before- A snowman boss before these two? I swear to god, what was the first snowman boss? What was his name? Or, or is that one of these two? I swear to god, I thought these two, like, came after him, or am I right? I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, so, yeah, so here's, uh, Bouncer. She's got a blue hat, and then Snow Cone, which has a pink hat. So obviously they got little, uh, um, they got, uh, guns in their hands, you know, to shoot the snowballs. And then, yeah, or barrels. I, I'm pretty sure you just call these barrels, right? Right, right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, then we got the teeth. Um, obviously got the carrots for their noses because they're snowmen. And uh, yeah, <laughs> all you can really say about them. It's hard to find stuff to talk about uh, rag, uh, characters that we've seen a, bit, a million times before. Like not in Gmod per se, but like you know, uh, just we, 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 all of us probably have at least seen or played FNAF World at least once. Because if you haven't, then uh, it's kind of sad. Anyway, so we got... Who is this? Pork Patch. Okay, so he has a lot of different materials on him. So he's got purple, green... Uh, I don't even... I'm just gonna say brown. Uh, I don't know. Uh, did I say pink? I'm not sure. Uh, he's got his buttons are yellow. That's interesting. Say so he's got a lot of stitching. Jeez, man. God, it's like he just completely was torn apart, and they just tried putting him back together. Yeah. I will put you back together, <laughs> bro. Is the crying child, guys? Pork Patch is is actually the crying child. He was put back. T he was put back together. Can't coincidence? I think not. All right. Anyways. <laughs> All right. So uh, yes, yeah, so we got Pork Patch. So, uh, yeah, all I can really say about him, but it's interesting. So then we got Auto Chipper. So obviously this is like the first boss we encounter in FNAF World. So he's got his little, little claws. Yeah, obviously. Since his, there's Chipper in his name, I'm supposed so assuming he's supposed to represent a beaver. Right? Or am I stupid and he's actually supposed to represent something else? I don't know. If, look, if there's an animal that's called Wood Shipper, I'm I'm just gonna assume they're based off of a beaver. Anyways, um, right? I don't know. Anyways, he's got little claws, and he's got, like, gears, a gear right here. Uh, and he's got, like, gears on the top of his head. Um, he's got little, uh, ears. He's got eyebrows. He's got some yellow eyes. He's got a nose. Teeth. And all that jazz. So yeah, there's him. And then, uh... Ooh. Okay, so we got this guy, which... Here, come here. I believe his name is Dogfight, correct? Yeah, Dogfight. I don't know who names a plane that, but alright. So he's obviously got the little propeller on the front, you know, to spin. You know, whoosh. Or, hang on. Whoosh. Oh, come on. Bruh. Spin. Spin. Spin! Why won't you spin? Oh, come on. Ugh. Okay, I give up. Anyway, so it's a purple plane with uh, blue eyes, which is pretty strange. Uh, plane with eyes. Alright. Um, yeah, he's got little wheels and stuff, because you know he's a plane. And yeah, so there's dogfight. Um,. Alright, so I believe that is it for the ragdolls. Um, yeah, we covered all these people. We covered, or, I mean, like, obviously I didn't have anything to say about them because we've seen these models in Gmod before. So, yeah. Um, and then we got these guys already covered. Already covered the people in here. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, obviously, I, I think I spawned in a few props. Okay, I did. These are effects right here, but we got the FNAF AR coin, we got, I honestly, I'm, sp oh wait, this is an actual package. Wh I don't know how long it, that took me to figure out this is actually a package. I, I don't know, because I just saw this, 
whenever the first time I saw this in Gmod, I was like, what the heck is this? I wasn't I wasn't thinking about a package when I look at this. Anyways, then we got a little box, the crate thing with the your stuff in whenever you buy a pack, I believe. And then we got this coin. So uh yeah, alright. And also we got an air hockey table from uh Security Beach, which is pretty cool. Anyways, obviously there is a lot of props, but there's uh over a thousand props in that in this pack and my game is been quite laggy from handling this so uh yeah um or at least like it feels like it considering how long it takes it to do that but um yeah so obviously i'm not gonna be able to cover all these props uh plus they are ba just the props we see in the games all the time but uh yeah so i'm obviously not gonna be able to cover everything but it but there are some pretty cool props uh, here, this i will spawn in so we got little eggs for each character, I believe. I don't even know what the frick this is. Uh, Alright, um, that's interesting. But then we got, so we got one for Bonnie. We got, uh, one for Scott. Uh, we got just a normal egg, I guess. Uh, we got a one for Foxy. Got one for Freddy. Uh, we got one for Glamrock Bonnie. We got one for Glamrock Chica. I don't think these are new, because uh, most of these add props are actually, were already around I don't know I just now figured out all of these props existed but uh but um yeah oh we got a little pumpkin it's interesting <laughs> he's just got that jeez man that grin he's like no you know I'm gonna I'm gonna terrorize your little children today no 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 all right anyway <laughs> okay um what is this pumpkin oh god it's like a squash pumpkin what the heck my god candy plush Ooh, that's interesting okay um anyways moving on so we got a uh, glenmark freddy egg uh we got uh old man consequences we got uh one for puppet uh we got security guy uh hey sit up uh we got one for monty wait what is this okay that's a present sack i honestly thought it was uh, an egg for some reason. Alright, so, alright, uh, well, I guess, the uh, Santa's coming early. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see here, uh... Oh, oh, okay, we got the, we got the, got the number one egg right here. Also, I love how it has an actual tail. That's kind of funny. But, yeah, alright. Alright, this Easter egg right here, best one. I don't care. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we got all the little Easter eggs. Literally, they are literally eggs, but I just I'm just gonna call them Easter eggs because why not? And then uh yeah, a bunch of Glenmark candy plushies, which is interesting. Uh we got a uh, candy mask. Uh just a bunch of stuff. What is this? A uh, candy mirror. Okay, we got all that. All right, interesting. Got a little signs for him. Okay, uh, we got this little crate. Um. Oh, so like a poster or drawing or what what not uh, we got the FNAF the little uh, prop box from FNAF 3 uh, let's see what else do we got uh, we got a little battery thing got a croissant uh, let's see hmm okay we got the foxy go 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 arcade machine uh, we got a uh, egg Nog. All right, that's interesting. Uh, we got I don't know. So we got some candles. Uh, so it looks like there's just not only stuff for uh, like the actual games. There's stuff for Halloween and Christmas too, which is weird. Or are there Halloween and Christmas props in the games? And I'm just stupid or something. I don't remember that from any of the games. But all right, what is this? A screw. This is a ginormous screw. <laughs> All right, we got a trash can. Uh, we got a cup. Um, oh god, we got this thing. Uh, got a speaker. Got a little. Oh, oh, it's one of these things. Uh, frick, I. Uh, what? What are their name? Munchies, right? Munchies. The uh, toy Bonnie summons these. All right. Uh, what is this? A hot cheese drop. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Uh. All right. Um, got a candy helmet. Uh, what is this? What the heck is it? Oh, it's a crushed paper ball. I don't know what I thought that was. Okay, I, th I actually thought that was like a piece of Roxanne's tail or something. I was like, what the frick? 
All right, there's more crumpled paper. Uh, let's see here, what else? Well, let's look in the security breach section real quick. Let's just, just look around a little bit. Maybe we'll find some. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's a wreath. All right. Yeah, um, is there more security breach stuff down here or something? Maybe, I, I don't know. Oh, all right, best plushie ever, right here. Best plushie, don't care, best plushie. Anyways, uh... What the... Oh, I thought I had physics for a second, I was like, wait, what? Uh, ew, sun. All right, anyways, uh, ooh, what's this? What is that? A roll, oh, interesting. God dang it, now I'm hungry. Thanks a lot, now I'm hungry. I need to go eat food later. Um, I mean, I ate lunch and it's like, okay, no, never mind. It's almost five o'clock. I should probably eat. <laughs> Anyways, uh, never mind that. Okay, so it's Freddy or Faz Tag. Okay, uh, is there, uh, okay, interesting. Um, what the, oh, it's that. Okay, uh, we got a little clock. Um, Okay, uh, alright, okay, uh, crate, croissant, uh, up, oh, empty picture frame, okay, uh, are they all empty? Why are they all empty? Why can't, is there supposed to be something in here? I don't know. Alright, uh, oh, we got a little frozen, uh, Glamour Chica tree. Okay, that's nice. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a glitched cassette. Alright, yeah. But anyways, yeah, there's a lot of props, as you can see. There's props from all the games. Uh, but, uh, yeah, or at least most of the games. Oh, this is just Roxanne's hair. <laughs> what the heck? Bro. Yeah, there's Roxanne's hair. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hmm. Hold up. Wait, guys. Guys. <laughs> Looking good, Foxy. Alright, anyways. Uh, here, let's do oh, can you just go put on Glenmark Freddy's head? <laughs> Why not? Oh, oh, wait, no. I think I skipped these four. Uh, if you're watching up to here, we also got uh, the uh, little uh, plushies. Uh, their arms and legs don't have their own physics, but, uh, you know, that's fine. So we got Bonnie. Why the heck, dude? I wasn't even touching you, and you and you. What? What the heck? Get that out of here! My God. Anyway, so yeah, so we got four plushies. So we got Freddy, Foxy, and Chica, and Bonnie. So that's lovely. Oh, okay. That Bonnie just fell over. All right, but um, yeah. So that's that's all I really need now. I mean, it's a Roxy hair dryer. Uh, what the heck is this? Oh, this is a necklace. I don't know if that's a necklace. That's more like a collar, but all right. Uh, hand. Why? Why her snout and jaw? All right. <laughs> um, but yeah. So there's a lot of props. Uh, this is by um, if I'm correct, this is by Jody and Geo Zek. At least those are the only two people that I know made it because, well, like, I was told that Jody and Jizek made it. So, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool stuff, so I'm not gonna lie. Obvi I'm sorry I couldn't review everything, but there's way too many props for me to review in one video. Unless I want to lose all my sanity, even though I don't know how much of it I even had in the first place. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, and sorry I couldn't say much about the ragdolls. It's just, it, it, review videos aren't that. Uh, they're a little, they can be stressful because uh, y you have like nothing to say. And I always feel bad because I, I, I'm reviewing them, but I never have anything to say. But yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so uh, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. Again, link to the description down below if you want it for yourself. And uh, yeah. So, um, that's all I really gotta say. Why is it like that? Why is the puppet's box like that? What the heck? Alright, get out of here. Anyways, um, yeah, so, uh, there's that. And, um, yeah, that's all I really gotta say. So, it's pretty cool stuffs, pretty cool stuffs.
Um. Oh God. Oh. Oh heck no. Heck no. Oh, that's terrifying. Wait. Oh ah. Oh, that's creepy. Ah, it's so creepy. Oh God. Yeah, they're on stage. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's Moon. Oh God, I can't see any of them. The only one I can see is Moon. Wow, oh, hi. The only one I can see is Moon. Oh, uh, that's creepy. All right, anyways, um, I'm gonna go outside. I feel safe out here. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, pretty cool. And uh, yeah. So if, again, for the third time, if you want it for yourself, link in the description down below. And yeah. I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a note, uh, leave a comment, um, turn on notification bell so you won't miss out on any other video that I upload. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.